Welcome to Reality Business Consulting's Be Real video tutorial series on how to manage your website with the WordPress Content Management System or WordPress CMS. The topic of this tutorial is WordPress CMS Basics Getting to Know the Control Panel. To get to the control panel of your website and to manage your content, what you need to do is open up a browser type in the domain name of your website at the end of that type in slash WP hyphen admin admin and press enter that will take you to a WordPress login screen here you type in your username and the password that was given to you if you forgot your username or password you can use the lost your password retrieval function of WordPress or contact your representative at Reality Business Consulting. So this is the control panel of the content management system of your website. There's a lot on this page but I'm just gonna go over the areas that you will be working with primarily. Before I do that let me just identify a few key points. On the top left you'll see the name of your website and it's hyperlinked. If you select this link, it'll basically open up a new tab or new window and you'll see your website here. Just a little tip, when you do manage your website, we'd like to suggest to, to do this, create another tab or window so you can toggle between your website and while you're managing your content so you can see the changes on the fly. On the top right, you'll notice that you the system identifies who's logged in. Just below this title dashboard, you have a general overview of the activity within your website. The number of posts, which are essentially blogs, the number of pages, which are essentially your content pages, categories and tags that are associated with your posts and pages. On the right side, if you do have a blog on your site, it'll give you an overview of how many comments or interactions you have with visitors to your website, how many you've approved, how many are pending, and how many are spam. What's important on this screen is on the left hand side. On the left hand side you see a menu of different features and tools that help you manage the content on your website. There are several listed here but you will be using about three or four of them. So let me take you through them. To open each menu, what you do is you place your mouse over the menu item and you'll see a little down arrow there. Select that down arrow and it opens the menu to see all the different options within that. So I've selected posts. If you have a blog on your website, this is where you will be going to input and enter all the content of your blog and managing the different categories and menus within your blog posts. So blogs are essentially posts. In this menu you can see a list of all the blog posts that you've entered. You're able to add a new blog post and you're able to see the categories and post tags that you've created that are associated with your blog posts. The next menu which you'll probably be using is media. Media allows you to essentially upload all the graphics and images and audio and that sort of thing that you'll be using on your website. So in the menu op media option you can you, you can select library which will give you a list of all the media you've already uploaded or you have the option of adding a new one. The next menu item you will be using is pages. Pages differ from posts because pages are basically static which means you won't be making m many changes to them. So pages are essentially your content pages and they're for informational purposes. Under this menu you can select pages option and you'll see a list of all the pages you've already created and it will give you an opportunity to edit them if you wish. You also have the opportunity of adding a new page within this menu item. The last area or menu you, which you will be using will be under appearances. In this area you will be managing widgets and menus. Now widgets are a way of you to place your content and that is a its own tutorial topic but um, we won't di dive into it right now. 
menus are the place where you can manage the menu or the menu bar or nav bar on your website. So these are the four areas that you will primarily be using when you are managing the content on your website. This concludes our Be Real video tutorial on getting to know the control panel of your WordPress CMS. If you need more support on this topic, please visit the following website for more information. If you or someone you know is looking for a marketing and sales consultant, please visit our website or contact Reality Business Consulting. We can help your company or organization with website development, marketing and sales planning and implementation. Until the next tutorial, be real.